Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about toggle buttons. Okay, so a toggle button in Java is created by using the Java GUI class called J toggle button. So a toggle button by definition is a two states button that is used to switch on or switch off, you know, uh, so it's a button that has two states. So in this video, we're going to create, I'm going to show you how to create that kind of buttons. So as usual, I'm having my um, class here called test app. And in that class, I'm declaring and uh, creating my frame object. So I have another class called my frame where I'm writing all the code, all the properties of the frame. So in this same class, my frame class, I'm going to create a toggle button. So I'm going to do that globally. So I will say uh, private. So as I told you, we're going to use a JTaggle button, a JTaggle button class, JTaggle button. And I'm going to call this toggle underscore BTN. Let's import the JTaggle button class. So that's it. Constructor, my frame constructor here. I have all the properties of my frame. All right. So I need to implement an item listener to this class. So I'm going to say implement item listener like this. So let me import the action, the item listener interface and add on implemented methods. So in this particular item state changed method, I'm going to uh, write an if an if else statement where that will determine the text to show on the button. Before I do that, I'm going to create some classes, some methods. So I'm going to say private uh, void. The first one, I'm going to call it set J toggle button, I guess. So here I'm going to instantiate my toggle button. So I'm going to say toggle underscore BTN new J toggle button. And I'm going to set the text. I'll say on. So that means that by default, when I will run my program, the button will have the text on. Okay. So what I um, need to do is that I need to add this to the frame. So I'm going to say this at add toggle underscore btn like this, and then semicolon. Okay. So for now, when I run, there's no button showing on the frame. Okay. Because um, first of all, I need to set the bounds. So I'm going to say toggle underscore button that set bounds to 150, 150, 50, 50. 30 like this and i need to pass this particular method in the constructor here so i'm going to say this that set j toggle button okay so that's the name i gave to my method so that now when i run my program there you can see the button showing on our screen what i'm going to do is to increase the size of the button like this and it's height as well when I run again, yeah, so there you can see the button. Let me run, okay, let me change this to 200 like this. So since I'm using the item listener, I need to apply uh, the item listener to the button. In order to do that, I need to create another method. So I'll say private void set action like this. And uh, in here, I'll say toggle underscore button btn that add item listener and i'm going to pass this because it's going to make reference to the class implementing the action listener so in my item state changed method i need to define the action to happen okay so here as i told you i'm going to use if else statement and say if the toggle button okay so i call it toggle underscore btn is selected so that means that if the button is selected, I want to change the text of the button. So I'm going to say toggle underscore btn that set text. I'll say off. Okay. I need to change this to toggle like this. And then I'll say else toggle underscore btn that set text will be on. Okay. So, so that's basically what will happen. So now you can see when I click on the button. So as you can see, when I click on the button, nothing is happening because I need to add this set action method in my constructor here. So I will simply say this, that set action. Okay. So let me run. 
when I click on the button now, it changes. So when I click, it changes to off, changes to on. So when you, you click, it will change the text of the button. So that's actually how the toggle button works. And uh, so I hope this video was informative. And please don't forget to like, to share and comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one.